Norris Cotton, whom I, perhaps dating myself, had the pleasure of knowing not only as a child, but in the early days of my political life, was a very conservative senator from Lebanon, New Hampshire, actually from Warren originally. He never asked in the whole time he was in Congress or in the Senate for an earmark, ever, not once. In the last two years of his, uh, of his tenure in the U.S. Senate, he decided that he was going to do, if he was going to do one thing and be known for one thing, it would be to establish some sort of groundbreaking research facility for cancer in New Hampshire. And he went to every single leadership in both parties and said, this is it for me. This is all I want. And I will do nothing for anybody on any other issue as long as I'm in the Senate, unless you're willing to do this. And everybody just said, fine. <laughs> you know, this is if that's because they were asking for this stuff every day. So we have Norris Cotton to thank uh, for this. It's been uh, really a, a remarkable uh, decade. And uh, New Hampshire is right out in front. And we've done this largely through the goodwill of um, our representatives to the federal government and the opportunities that we've had to bring uh, money into the state. Um, we're fortunate to have partners like the American Cancer Society. And uh, I, I just know that the future is very bright. In 2009, for the first time, both the incidence and death rates for all cancers combined decreased for both men and women, meaning that thousands more people are celebrating birthdays and living their lives, which otherwise would have been lost to this disease. You know, when you first hear about the amount of money that's being spent in NIH, I think a lot of people had no idea what it was, where it was actually done. I think a lot of people thought that there was some big laboratory in Bethesda, Maryland, where all of this was happening. It's not true. Eighty percent of the dollars are spent all over the country. You know, our research is funded almost exclusively by the federal government. I mean, the American Cancer Society, um, many local philanthropic resources, have a very significant impact for a whole variety of reasons. It's special money philanthropy. But 75% of our research budget comes from the federal government. I want to tell Congressman Bass that we bring every year $55 million of research funding from the federal government into this state, and 90% of that money is spent in this state on salaries primarily. So I don't know how many enterprises are bringing $55 million of out-of-state money into the state and spending it in the state, but the Norris Cotton Cancer Center is.